You gonna go see cars? Yes. Do you want to see cars? Yes. Yeah, I go see cars. Yeah, Daddy and Lena are gonna go see cars with mommy. I was trying to find the picture that we had of Go see cars, with mommy. They're on my laptop. Go see cars. Yeah, we're gonna go see cars. Are you excited? Go see cars, mommy. Yeah. Do you want to? Go see cars. Yeah, are you excited? Mommy. Yeah. Go see cars, mommy. Yeah. Go see cars. I'm almost ready for a new camera. This one's good, but I can never tell if it's recording. This LCD screen faces the other way, or it faces down, which I can never see from here, this part, from in front of the camera. Today I want to talk about uh, a video I came across yesterday. Um, watch it now. It, uh living for weekends you're not living uh if you live for weekends and vacations your shit is broken yeah and i believe that like yeah. you know many of my friends it breaks my heart my friends like live for friday night yeah. like they know they get the week like monday morning's the worst sunday night i'm like chomping i'm like a fighter before a fight like in the dressing room like i can't like i try to go to sleep early on sunday because i can't wait for monday because i get to put my jersey on right. you know I like that. Like, and I feel bad because, listen, as a shit student, growing up in the 80s and 90s when everybody told me I was a loser for making money on the weekends but being bad at school, I remember Sunday night after the Jets played being depressed because I knew Monday I had to go to school and that was bullshit and I hated it and I still had five, seven, nine, two, four years of it. So, you know, I'm so glad that I'm removed from 1992, three, four, when I like dreaded Monday morning. Yeah. And then when my life actually started, my business world started, I don't anymore. I feel bad that most people, I mean, work? Guys, I mean, looking around at all of us, just like for the six of us in this room, it's like 15% of your life. Like 50% of your entire life is predicated on what you do at work. Like, it's just a huge percentage of one's life. I can't wrap my head around with the internet. This is not your grandpappy's life. Yeah. We have the internet. You can make shit happen. You can build businesses or side hustles. I just don't understand why people relegate into losing mentality and just thinking they can't. You can't because you want to be on the bowling team or softball or play video games. That's why you can't. There's plenty of time. Get shit done. I like it. Do you live for the weekends or do you live for every day? Are you creating a side hustle or are you creating something every day? That's what I took from it today. And I like it. I dig it. I want to be more like that. I'll continue to create every day, continue to strive every day. You know, you work an eight hour job. Doesn't mean your day ends there. You can always go home and continue to hustle every minute, every hour. That's something I just want to talk about. Yesterday I went to the storage unit and I forgot to film. I forgot my camera and then I forgot my, oh I was going to film with my iPhone, but I was doing my valve cover gasket, I for, while I was painting my valve cover gasket last time, one of the spark plug, spark plug o-rings fell out, and I looked down and I saw it, I was like, ah, putting that back in as well as painting my side skirts, it came out, bleh. I gotta sand them back down and redo it. I, mean, I forgot to film. Forgot to film. Are you creating a side hustle? I really enjoy. I, I'm. St I literally like this camera better than my Canon. Oh, whoa! Sorry. My Nikon or DSLR for and all purposes now. I think the quality is a lot better. So I, when I referenced, I'm gonna sell my car. You can pretty much ignore me every single time from now on, anytime I say that, because I go back and forth, and I will continue to go back and forth. I'm sorry, I try not to go back and forth, but it's it's tough. It's tough because I really want to get a new car, and I found something I wanted, but I don't even want to say it because it's just too good to be true, and I can't get it done. But I found this... I found a buyer, but then it fell through, and then I want to keep my car. So just 
from now on, don't even listen to me, period. Don't even pay attention to me when I say I want to sell my car. Or I'm going to sell my car. I'm going to sell, I'm going to say this a million times. I have a weird addiction of selling and buying cars and <sighs> we're going to get through it together. Why? Because they're grateful.